If you're like me, you've noticed that your dog really, really seems to take it really serious about where he pees and where he goes to the bathroom. And Cruz is no different. And so we looked into it and we found out the deal is really serious business to these guys. It's the uh, pee mail, <laughs> how they communicate, how they communicate with each other, and they learn a lot through that. Now, there's a Dr. Lisberg who did a study who says that uh, your dog can tell if uh, the, the pecking order and the social, the social status, uh, the stress level of the dog who left the message <laughs> before him. Now, intact males who, who are still fertile <laughs> seem to have a higher ranking in this pea pecking order uh, and are more likely to overspray to come across the, another animal's urine and uh, make sure they cover it up. Now, if you notice a small dog, a small dog will uh, do a, go to extreme lengths to, to climb up on the side of something and to go to some extreme lengths to try to get his urine higher uh, than, the, than the other dog. Now, recently we've been having an issue. The neighbor thinks that uh, Cruz is using the bathroom in his yard. He's not, because we go outside with him when he goes in the front yard. The backyard's fenced in where he can't get out. And the front yard, we go out with him. We spend the entire time with him and make sure that he doesn't go to anyone else's yard. So we've been on guard looking, and we found the culprit. Here they are. And they're dog poop culprits. So he knows this is his territory. He knows that's not his. Oh yeah. He doesn't go around smelling his own like that and scratching around. He doesn't use the bathroom in her front yard. He likes to go hide on the mountain. What he's doing right now is he's in search of more of that scent that he's come across uh, so he can cover it up. Now, I've noticed that when he is around a female, uh, his jaw will chatter and his, his saliva, he'll have a lot more saliva coming out of his mouth when he, when he senses a female. Now, that seems to be my observation of him. I don't know if that's scientific or not, <laughs> but that's my observation of him is that his, his female senses are, are pretty strong because he's, he's an intact male and he's always on the look for a female. So we've got a barn. Uh, we usually keep some farm animals around, uh, good horses, and uh, he seems to pay no mind uh, to where they use the bathroom and he doesn't really care about any of that what he's interested in is where these other dogs have been he wants to go back out there so it's really rare for him to use the bathroom in our yard uh well take it back he pees in our yard constantly it's really rare for him to do the number two <laughs> in our yard he likes to save that for his side by side rides uh, he likes to save that for his uh, trips and, and places elsewhere or to go on the side of the mountain he likes to go up on the side of the mountain but for him just right in the middle of our yard that's almost a never occurrence so he's found a few in our yard that that really strikes his curiosity and uh, he's checking them out intensely now one of the problems we had early on when we first got him we had a chihuahua that lived in the house and uh, him and this chihuahua began a territory contest <laughs> so you know the chihuahua would want to pee where he smelled Cruz's scent then Cruz would feel the obligation to go pee over top of his scent and we ended up with a, a situation that just wasn't going to work uh, so we had to find a solution to that pretty quick because these uh, these animals are once if they're intact and uh, even if they're not but especially if they're intact this scent and this communication uh, system is, is really important to them. Now we don't know exactly everything they glean uh, from this communication system, this water cooler communication system. And there's some really good articles out there that I'll link to at least one or two of them for you uh, that talk about it. And uh, it's pretty fascinating everything that they learn and everything they do uh, by this pee poop communication system. 
I know this is not the only type of communication system they have. Uh, body language is how they communicate with us and it's uh, really effective if you know what to look for and you learn your dog. And I'll do some videos about that later. But this is more about the communication system they have with each other uh, when they're not around. This is the, this is the uh, email of their, of their life. And this is like checking in on social media. That's what he's doing right now. He's checking in on social media with his uh, neighboring pets is his neighboring animals. They smell. Got a pee on it too. There's another dog here.